marriage, kids, and giving birth to a new business. What's the common thing about these? Well, hello, it's Selena from Tease.com, and Empiro. If you ask me when is the right time to go and start a new business, or you know, it, it's a market too, you know, too big, too small, is it growing too much, is it competitive, you know, and all that sort of stuff. I would say that's exactly the common thing about these three things. Let me share a couple of stories with you. The first one is um, when I was talking to my sister one time, that was ages ago, she, has, um, she had a beauty salon business and um, often she does makeup for um, brides and one time I was talking to her, Chinese, you know, saying, well, you know, this year it's not supposed to be auspicious for marriages and stuff like that. And she said, look, doesn't matter whether it is auspicious or not, people still get married. You know, the fact is that the world doesn't stop just because it's not supposed to be a good year for marriage. You know, people still get married. The second one is when I was talking to my husband about when to have kids. And we started the business a few years before that, and we were sort of saying, okay, you know, wait until the business start to get a pretty good, you know, firm kind of holding, and then we'll we'll go and have kids and whatnot. And then one day he just said to me, you know what, there's never going to be a perfect time. We just have to say, this is the time, and this is what we're going to do. So we followed that, and <laughs> a few years down the track, out comes, you know, two little bundle of joys. And um, another third one, of course, is starting a business. The truth is that, you know, we're talking to a lot of new business, um, you know, owners lately. And, um, and I'll, you know, we, we, we hear mixed stories, you know, like some people are saying, oh, you know, this is a perfect time, you know, to get into tea. And I'm saying, mm, it's pretty competitive, isn't it? Um, and we're just sort of saying, well, true. But the fact is, let's just imagine if there is nothing like that in the market and you're the first one, you're going to be working triply hard and you have to be triply creative because you need to find a way to translate this new idea, this new product into something that is sort of similar out there. And you need to sort of educate people why your new Fandangle thing is better. Or if you have got something that is you know, very common, everybody is using, then yeah, the, the market's going to be pretty competitive. But at the same time within that, it doesn't mean that you have no room to maneuver and rock it to the, you know, success. So it really sort of almost to me, it's more of a conversation of when you want to start it and where is your intention. Like some of our customers, you know, if they can actually tell us that, look, we are going to start this new business, but at the same time, this is actually, you know, more of, something they enjoy the tea and so they want to sell some. So they know that it's really not going to be their full-time business. In fact, some of people actually do it more like a retirement thing. Then you give yourself that clarity and almost give yourself that permission to say, hey, this doesn't have to, you know, take over the tea world. Versus others are saying, you know, this is going to be my bread and butter. I'm going to make an impact. I'm going to see how I can learn the ropes and make it really, really, you know, successful. So everybody has got different kind of end goal and you have to decide what that is. And it's ideal to actually decide that in the beginning. And then, you know, then you don't, you know, expect it one way and then it turn out another way. Because at the end of the day, they are the product of our mentality. So if I'm thinking I'm going to make this work, you know, no matter what, that's what the product is going to become, you know, the business is going to become. Versus if you're doing it, you know, kind of half-heartedly, that's the sort of thing that's going to come out, that's going to show. So I hope this is something useful for you, you know, if, especially if you're looking at starting a new business or your business is still quite new, you know, maybe within the first, you know, six months or whatnot. It's really worthwhile to have those conversations with yourself and really have a think, you know, how you can really make it work to achieve whatever that goal might be for you at the end. And don't worry too much about whether the market's competitive or not, you know, to a degree, obviously you need to know your competitors and whatnot, but don't let that hinder your decision, you know, and just 
just go for it you know give it a go um see where it takes you so i hope you enjoy this um a slightly different format of um of our sunday news and if you have any feedback of course we'd love to hear those drop us a line or use the contact us form or just simply click like on the video so i know that you do want me to keep talking you know every sunday so i'll catch you next time